Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Baby Lock Triumph. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the machine for cover stitch. Now, cover stitch looks like this. This is where you've got three thread, two thread, or two thread wide, and you can also do a chain stitch with this machine. Now, some people may be wondering if they've never used a cover stitch machine, why not use just a twin needle on your regular sewing machine? I'll show you why. This is an example of twin needle. Now look how you've got all that tunneling happening here. That's because on the back, it just has the bobbin thread. Now this is on a regular sewing machine, it just has the bobbin thread, and that's pretty much a straight line, which is not gonna give you uh, a nice flat finish. Here, same kind of stitch, but we have this looper that happens on the back, and that's what gives you that nice flat hem. Okay. So to start out with, now right now the machine is set up for four thread overlock, but we're going to change it over to cover stitch. So to start out with, let's open this up. And then what I like to do is take everything off the machine that doesn't belong for cover stitch and then put everything back on. Okay, to start out with, let's now, uh, the manual will tell you to turn off your machine. I'm being very careful here, but for safety purposes. And of course, you keep your foot away from the foot control and that helps too. We'll take those needles out. And then, take. let's um, leave the foot on for now, because that's an all-purpose foot. We want to have this top looper down, so we're gonna push this over here. Now I should show you on here, this is your quick reference guide, so go to the page that says chain stitch cover stitch and I'm going to set it up for left narrow so that that narrower one that I was showing you there okay so we want to have this down we want to have our knife disengaged and we want to take this knife cover plate off so at this point I'm going to turn my hand wheel until the upper looper is out of the way okay so now let's look at our little recipe guide here for cover stitch narrow. We want needles in the C1 and C2 area. So I'm going to move this way high like this, put this down, put away my little needle inserter, but that's all right. Oh, got to loosen the clamp screw, that helps. Now make sure that your needle is all the way up to the top. That's really important for it to sew well and operate correctly. And also make sure that you have your needle flat side to the back. Now these needles are going to be in sort of a stepwise fashion. They're not going to be all straight across and that's important that you, uh, that's another reason you want to get them all the way to, up to the top because that has to do with uh, the timing of the loopers and so forth. So we tighten that back up. That's all ready to go. Then we can put the, uh, this is the table. Now, to know which way this goes on, look at the way that you had, this is the knife blade. And you see how that middle thing, you see those little ridges? So hold your table so that you can see the little ridges, same way, and you put this right on the cover like that. Sitting off to the side like this. Okay, so once we put that there, that part is ready to go, but we still need to thread the machine. So I'm gonna open it back up. Now, in our quick threading guide, it shows you where to put your threads for this particular stitch. You want to make sure you have your, your looper thread on chain looper right here. And that's going to go up over the top right there where it says CL for chain looper. Chain stitch or cover stitch is basically the same kind of threading. And then chain needle C2 for chain needle 2. I'm going to just let that hang for a moment, and then C1. Now, there is a thread guide in back here, which I'm going to go ahead and thread, but you need to make sure you have that threaded and threaded correctly. Go under here like that, and then I put this first thread right down into this first guide right here. Make sure you have your presser foot up so that the thread sits down into the tension area. Over here. And this one's going to go in the middle. Now, if I was going to do three threads, I would do the third one in the third section there. So here we go, up over like this. 
and I'm going to just leave these two threads right here until I have the chain looper threaded. So we're going to go like this, turn your hand wheel until those snap shut. Now I'm going to take this back off so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. These tubes snap shut so that the um, air can thread your looper. I'm also going to open it this way so you can kind of see what's happening on this side. Now, this is a, the special way that you do your uh, looper threading. It does say in the book, look in the, um, chain, in the threading section on chain looper, and it gives you a good picture of that. But just watch what I do here. Go into here. Then we're going to go behind this little guy here up over the top like that. I'm moving this out of the way so you can see. And then right into there. Okay. This is for a special thread, so don't worry about that. Now that we have it in threading, we want to put it into this one that says C for that uh, chain cover stitch. Make sure that we have this nice and it is pretty good. If this is a little bit fuzzy at the end, it may have a hard time grabbing it, so you might want to snip that with your scissors. Make sure you don't lick it or get it, uh, you know, wet in any way because it works with air, so it needs to be dry. Okay, so I put it in a little bit of a bend in there, and I tap that down, press my button, and notice I didn't have it really long because if it's really long, it gets caught in the door, and believe me, I've tried it. So what I want is for this to be a straight line. That means that the air has caught it. Now, it's going to show up, the end of it's going to show up in this little box right over here. So I'm going to pull down some more, push the button, and as long as you push the button, that's it, it will keep going, so however long you need to go, as long as you, uh, if you take your f uh, finger off the button, it uh, stops. Now right now, this end of this thread is shown up in this little box here. That means that's threaded, that's done. You don't need to do any more on that. Okay. So here we go. Now, if I had the same color of thread, I would want to know which is the C2 needle, which is the C1 needle. I would just push the one. Oh, that's the one that goes on the left-hand side. I'm going to put that over here. And the one that goes on the right-hand side over here. We don't really need that open anymore. And I'm going to put my presser foot down. At this point, we can just leave it in threading and you pull, pull down this little guy here. I'm going to get my scissors and snip that thread. It only needs to be about that long, about to the end of the cover, maybe a little bit longer like that. Now we want to have this in the chain cover because it has to do with which of these tubes are going to have the air pulling through. So we want it over here in chain cover so that these front ones will get threaded. I'm going to do it at sort of a funny angle just so that you can see it with the camera. What we're doing is we're putting the thread right up to the eye of the needle. There, you got it. It caught a hold of it. Okay, so now I can take this one here. Doesn't need to make a straight line or anything. It's all right to just have it so that it kind of pulls it in a little bit. And when I'm holding it, I'm holding it just very lightly so that once it gets going, then it just pulls it in. There we go. So it kind of, I let go of it with my fingers. Now, lift this up, needles are threaded. So you can watch that again if you need to, to see how to do that. But I had my presser foot out of the way, just more for visual purposes. You really can do it with your presser foot up. And if you have it up, then you can pull out more thread if you need to. Okay, so we need to have this underneath the needles underneath the foot, cleanly under the foot. There we go. Just like that. And with the table on, I'm going to put that on there. There we go. Oh, got to have it out of threading. So if you can't close this door, it's because you have that uh, not in threading. So at this point, it's all ready to go. So we have another video on how to actually do your cover stitch. I invite you to watch that video. If this one was helpful, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on this machine and on other machines here on our Montevilla YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.